Welcome to Penryn College. My name is Paul Walker and I'm proud to be head teacher. What we want to do at Penryn College is give students the care, teaching and opportunities to give the best experience possible. I hope this video gives you insight into the work that we do and we look forward to you joining us in September. Hello, my name is Miss Williams and I'm the head of English at Penryn College. We have got an amazing team of teachers in the English department who are really passionate about teaching and learning. And I can guarantee that you will feel that passion when we welcome you into our classrooms. We want you to love your English lessons. And during your five years with us at Penryn College, we will bring you a wide range of texts to explore, engage with and analyse in depth and detail. We'll encourage you to read in your spare time. And to support this, We've got a fantastic library which is brimming with exciting reads. Our aim is also to ensure that every student develops in confidence and becomes a fluent communicator, both verbally and as a writer. We feel very strongly that every student needs to be able to express their point of view and let their voice be heard in order to become fully functioning members of society. In Year 7, we cover some really exciting topics in English. We usually start with the opportunity for you to develop your uh, creative writing and then we focus on some writing to argue and persuade later on in the year. We'll also read and analyse some 19th century literature and the work of Charles Dickens. We'll also study a modern play in Year 7, something like The Demon Headmaster, Bugsy Malone, or Room 13. We are really looking forward to you joining us and becoming part of our amazing team. Hi, I'm Mr Penhaligon and I'm second in maths here at Penryn College. In our successful maths department we've got 10 specialist maths teachers who've got a wealth of experience and have a real passion for their subject. We also have a dedicated maths TA and we're fortunate to have eight dedicated maths teaching classrooms. The transition from year six to seven can be a big one in terms of math. Here at Penryn College, we're very experienced in dealing with this, so we do everything we can to make it as smooth as possible. I, for example, have built up some strong links with our local primary feeder schools. I meet with them three times a year and we discuss any issues that may arise. Over the years, we have shown that we can successfully build on the math skills learnt at primary school and indeed in the home. A key focus for us is on the depth of understanding and mathematical reasoning, thus equipping students with the skills they need for a range of subjects, not just mathematics. For those students who show a real passion for mathematics, we have many opportunities for them. Every year we take part in the UK Maths uh, Challenge papers, both the junior and the intermediate level. We take part in the Team Maths Challenge each year and also a variety of online competitions of which we've been very successful at in recent years. Thank you and we look forward to welcoming your child into our maths classrooms here at Penryn College. Hi, my name is Dr Stamper and I'm the Head of Science here at Penryn College. Our aim is for students to develop an understanding of science and scientific process through engaging and challenging lessons. In Year 7 and 8, students will develop practical skills that will enable them to investigate key scientific ideas and concepts. They will learn about the living world, how we make new materials and how forces and energies govern our everyday lives. Our GCSE course starts in Year 9 and this continues to build on the key ideas and concepts that are introduced in Year 7 and 8. All of our students work towards attaining two science GCSEs and some of them will take a third science option. Many of our students will then go on to study science or science related courses post 16. But whatever their chosen pathway, our aim is for all of our students to leave the college with a deeper understanding and appreciation of the world around them. Hello, I'm Mr Childs and welcome to the STEAM faculty. Here in STEAM we teach a combined technologies curriculum. Project driven in the same way as industry, students learn skills and apply them immediately to design and control innovative products. Our projects all come from STEAM industries and students here experience the whole process. From initial designs to a working product, students learn skills in computing, design and tradecraft that will prepare them for life after Penryn College. We work with local businesses and college to give the projects a real world feel and to ensure that we're keeping up to date with modern technology. In a typical STEAM classroom, you'd see students designing, 
You might see them making models and prototypes of their designs, possibly using 3D printers or using wooden card modelling in the workshop. There would be students working on electronics, bringing their ideas to life with servos and lights controlled by a microbit computer. Other students would be programming in Scratch, designing games and working on their graphics for their products. We are committed to developing our students to be creative and ambitious learners, happy to try something new and not to be afraid when it doesn't work first time. Students will be ready for a technology-driven future, ready and able to thrive. Hello, I'm Miss Chapman. I'm Head of the Humanities Department here at Pemmering College. Uh, the Humanities Department is History, Geography and RE. Uh, RE is a compulsory subject at school and all students study RE from Year 7 up to Year 10. History, Geography are uh, taught until Year 9 and then you can opt to take either History, Geography and or RE at GCSE. We've got eight teaching rooms and 11 members of staff in our department. In year seven and eight, you have a humanities lesson, which is RE and history combined, and a separate geography lesson. Whereas in year nine, you have individual lessons in RE, history, and um, geography to get you ready for when you're taking your options. Students will have a sense of awe and wonder at the world. We want them to question evidence given to them, form a view and be able to justify it. And that's what we're hoping to do through the um, five years that students are here at Pemmering College when they're learning in humanities. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Knoll and I'm Head of Creative Arts here at Pemmering College. Creative Arts consists of art, dance, drama, music, media, and textiles. We really believe here at Pemmering College that in creative arts we want you to become creative risk takers, resilient people, you work really really well independently but also collaborate with each other in a really safe working and creative environment. Some of you have already been a massive part of our Kappa programme so you might be part of Kappa drama, you might be part of Kappa dance or you might be having music lessons currently with some of our music team. And this will develop you really, really nicely into our Key Stage 3 curriculum here at Pemmering College, where you might be doing some printing in art or some tie-dye and textiles, some group work and performance in drama, to playing instruments and creating your own music when you're down in music lessons. This then leads really, really nicely into our creativity lessons that have now been introduced in Year 9, where you get to explore dance and media at Key Stage 3-2. Everything you do in creative arts lessons leads really, really nicely into what you can do additionally. This includes a drama showcase at the Hall for Cornwall, our Christmas or spring concerts, the dance production, Carrick Dance, or, like most recently, our school production of The Little Shop of Horrors. We really look forward to welcoming you to join us in September and hope that you can enjoy some of these incredible experiences that we have to offer down in creative arts. Hi, my name is Dave Redding and I'm the head of the Modern Languages Department at Penryn College. We have various aims for students when they begin in Year 7. Overall, in their learning of a language, we aim for them to achieve a certain level of fluency in their spoken work. We really want the students to be able to go to a foreign country and have a go um, with their language and develop the confidence to be able to um, try things out, not worry too much about mistakes. So their enjoyment of their lessons is absolutely paramount for us. We also feel that we have an obligation to our students to help them to understand difference in the world. In terms of transition from Year 6 to Year 7, the students are offered a choice between French and Spanish. There are seven skills attached to learning a language. There's listening, speaking, reading, writing, memorisation, translation and the grammar, the rules of the language. We have an exchange programme with a school in Toulouse in southwest France. We run an annual trip to Roscoff in Brittany and uh, Mr Guerrero, our head of Spanish, is currently establishing an exchange with a school in Seville in southern Spain. Hello, I'm Richard Tucker and I'm um, head of the PE and Lifestyles Department at Pemmering College. Absolute fantastic department, extremely lucky with amazing facilities and an amazing curriculum offer. Our Year 7s join us and straight away are thrust into a wide range of sporting activities, many activities that they've not had the chance to do at primary school. Alongside our, our normal offer we have a real um, focus on health and well-being. We're very fortunate with our facilities. 
We've got a fantastic six Babington Court Sports Hall. We have a fantastic um, AstroTurf alongside the TISA, an activity studio, fitness suite. And then outside we've got lovely sports fields. And alongside that we've got the exciting new AstroTurf pitch that's being built which is a specialist surface for football and rugby. Hopefully you've seen our wide range of um, sports clubs that we offer after school and we really look forward to you attending lots of them and making the most of those um, superb facilities. I would just like to finish by um, saying really looking forward to meeting lots of you at Penryn College and please get really excited about trying lots of new sports and activities and enjoying your um, time with us. Hi, my name is Miss Lane and I'm Head of Life Skills here at Penryn College. Um, our curriculum is split into three areas, health and wellbeing, relationships and living in the wider world. Our curriculum inspires students to succeed through a learning journey that provides knowledge, skills and opportunities for them to be responsible global citizens with positive life chances. Our students will believe in their ability to succeed, becoming confident and resilient learners. Hi, my name is Mrs Knowles and I'm a food and nutrition teacher at Penryn. Um, food is really popular here. When students start in year seven, we try to get them developing as many skills as possible to help them cook nutritious snacks and dinners for themselves and their families. The students will explore food from around the world, different cultures, different cuisines and religious beliefs. We look at different reasons that people follow different diets, specialist diets and different life stages. Hello and welcome to the ARB. My name is Stacey Marsh and I'm the ARB lead teacher. We're very proud of our ARB at Penryn College and we've recently relocated. We are now based at the very heart of the school. We currently support 25 students across Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. We were very excited to return after the summer break this year to see some new building work that had taken place. We have a new wet room, we've developed some of the teaching spaces, but the children were particularly thrilled to see their new state-of-the-art sensory room. These areas, combined with three teaching spaces, some breakout areas and a physiotherapy room are what formed to make our ARB. Many of our students access bespoke parts of the mainstream curriculum. In addition to this, we also ensure that they have the same opportunities with regards to our extensive study support programme. Last year alone we had students take part in activities such as choir, catering and trampolining. Also, lots of our children take part in creative arts activities and have individual music lessons. All of this is built on a foundation curriculum that aims to develop numeracy, literacy and social skills. We aim to develop the whole individual to prepare them for life after Penryn College. Welcome to the library. My name is Mrs Snowden and I am the careers lead at Penryn College. As JK Rowling said, when in doubt, go to the library. As well as over 4,000 action-packed, awe-inspiring, spine-tingling and thought-provoking books, the library is home to the Careers Team and the Resources Centre. The Careers Team are here to help you discover a whole world of exciting career opportunities through work experience, mock interviews and visits to our post-16 providers and many school trips and events. We have connected in the past year with many industries including engineering firms, health professionals, veterinary surgeons and even a bird of prey breeder. The Resources Centre caters for all our students' educational needs. We stock stationery, revision guides and have a vast past paper library freely available to students to help them with their revision. Hi guys, uh, my name's Jake Ash. Uh, my job at Penryn is to organise all of the study support programme. That includes a massive variety of clubs around the school, some before, some lunchtime, um, but a lot of them after school. We do everything and anything for everyone, so it could be a drama club, it could be a media club, whether it's English, science, art, um, technology, sports, anything that you're interested in, outside of stuff that you do in school, we offer here at Penryn. Uh, we're really proud of what we do and when you come to school in September we really encourage you to get involved in as many things as you can and take advantage of the opportunities that you get here.